Okay, thanks for your time. Uh, another tough result for you. Just give us your overall assessment after the game. Um, disappointing uh, result. Um, poor first half. We we deserved this defeat because of the first half. Uh, we started slow. We had <coughs> took too many touches. Um, passed too often uh, backwards or sideways rather than forward. Uh, haven't shown uh, the intensity, the energy, um, and this is why we were one 0 down in half time. I think second half was better. Um, we passed more forward. We used less touches. We were able to create uh, energy and intensity as well without creating the clear cut chances. This is what we uh, still missed in the second half. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, we lost this game, even if, um, as I said, we deserved because of our performance. But uh, the situations before the goal were, for me was a clear foul. And obviously the situation when we scored, I've seen the video footage, this was very, very tight uh, if it was offside. Uh, unfortunately, the situations were not uh, in our favor as well. But um, even if there were key situations, uh, this shouldn't be the excuses. Uh, we lost this game because of our performance. I was very soon after the game, you talked about that first half not being good enough, the lack of intensity, the sort of lateral passing. Can you put your finger on why they produced that in that first 45 minutes? No, I have no um, idea. Uh, it, I think it was clear and obvious that uh, in passing, in our movement, we took far too many touches. We moved the ball um, too slowly. We didn't move in the right positions uh, quick enough as well. And then it it is a first half where you not really feel uh, what we're, for what we normally stand for, for this uh, intensive, uh, energetic uh, style of football. And obviously this was then the key reason why we played as poor as we have done in the first half and why we deserve to, to, to earn 1-0 down. The second half, as I said, was better. Uh, there we were able to have this um, moments of intensity and energy in our, on our game, but without creating in the final third the clear cut chances. One shot on on, on goal is um, not 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 enough uh, and this is for sure something uh, what we have to do if we have so many ball possession we have to convert it in in better opportunities like we have done sometimes in the past but not today. Uh, you touched on the goal you, you felt that there was a foul in the centre of the park there on Kieran Dow um, but obviously the play moves on there and, and you made the call to go with Angus today do you feel he probably should do better as well with the shot? Um, I haven't seen the goal back so far, uh, but I think uh, um, in, in overall he has uh, done a normal game as a goalkeeper. So um, I only have seen the situation uh, when Kieran received the ball and uh, got fouled, and I've seen the situation of the of the offside um, situation. Uh, as you said, you know one shot on target, and he had sixty three odd percent possession. Um, Again, you know, you've got the Preston scored four, you've got the Coventry and scored four. Is that a concern for you as well? That despite the amount of possession, you didn't create enough clear cut chances today. No, it, it's it's part of development, and I think uh, we uh, still try, and uh, we will try in the future as well. Uh, try to get our message across and try to make sure that we can able can be consistently play on on on, on a high level uh, and don't have so much um, inconsistent moments in in our game uh, like today first half second half uh, this was uh, not comparable and this shouldn't be a game of uh, today or maybe the game other away game which we had in terms of the the situations in the final third, but we have to be honest as well. These are the most um, difficult situations to create, where we created a lot in the in the in the last away games. Not today. Uh, I I have not the concern, but it shows only that we have a lot of work to do with this group of players. That they are able to consistently uh, perform on this level, energetic wise, uh, intensity wise, and obviously as well uh, with the with the moments uh, where they can show footballing uh, quality as well. And uh, this was not the case today. Just uh, just a word on your changes. I mean, you made one at half-time there and, and a couple around the hour mark. Was that, again, just to try and inject that 
more drive and a, a bit more thrust at the top end of the pitch? Yeah, absolutely. So I was not uh, happy with our first half performance. Obviously, then you have, uh, if you have the chance to to react, um, you you will do. I think our subs uh, with Adam, uh, Liam, and and Onel, they were lively. Then they they came on and um, helped the team to get this energy um, back. But obviously, um, we don't have this in the first half, and uh, this is something we we absolutely have to correct because I think this is something. It's difficult to create this moment in the final third to pick up always the right pass uh, under pressure, uh, but to pass forward, to take less touches, to move quicker. Uh, this all together then makes it to have an intensive, energetic game. This is something we 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 have to we have to bring on the pitch, and this is something um, where I think uh, this is something we have to consistently bring on the pitch. You said yesterday when you was asked about, or sort of maybe the day before, who's track. Um, no, it was yesterday, wasn't it? Sorry. Uh, the, you're not really looking at the league table. That will take care of itself if you get a consistency of performances, because uh, obviously results will follow. But is it getting to the point now where you do need to start putting those positive results on, on the park, starting obviously with Hull on Tuesday? Yeah, but this was the case before the game as well. Uh, I think this will not change uh, everyone at the minute. Uh, in such a busy period, likes to uh, pick up points uh, in a row, if possible, uh, with wins, if possible. Uh, we are not different. Uh, obviously, today uh, we, we we haven't done it, uh, and we haven't done it because of our performance, which was not good enough to deserve something. And this is where we have to um, quick get the focus on to make sure that we performance-wise uh, will be back on what we normally can do. Uh, and Therefore, we have to do our part uh, in terms of the intensity and the energy, as I said. And hopefully then with uh, this energy as well, uh, you can create these moments because you can put much more pressure on the opponent like we've done in the first half. And then obviously at home, uh, Tuesday night at Carroll Road, uh, shouldn't be something which an opponent can enjoy. We have to make sure that it's anything but enjoyable, that it's uncomfortable for them. Just final one, no, no Marquinhos, no Christos, Jolis today, can you just give us an update on those two? Yeah, Marquinhos has a muscle injury, uh, he will miss Tuesday for sure as well, we have to make uh, further investigations then in the next week, um, if it is more than only these two games and uh, Christos, we decided early in the week um, that he has to catch up fitness-wise um, uh, individual program which we decided to do that he will miss uh, this game um, because of uh, the injuries which he had uh, so less rhythm in the past he felt and we felt that he needs to catch it up and we decided to make it now that he is available for the next games which we which uh, are in front of us um, this is the two reasons why. So, so would he come, would he be available for Hull, or do you think he might maybe st step out for Hull as well? Um, no, I think um, for Hull he will be available. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, good. Okay. Good. Thank, Thank you. you.